right um we are starting off on this notes uh, this weekend was a bit of mixed reaction and mixed feelings uh, especially with the women's uh, teams winning and pim and the ghana national uh, team uh, women's national team winning and the under 20 also winning but then the sad news uh, that hits ghana and the entire football world is Rafael Dramena, the 28 year old Rafael Dramena, uh, who collapsed and died in the Albanian League. I'm sure so a lot of you uh, have heard the story. Very painful, very tragic. A uh, lot of uh, tributes have uh, started pouring in since he lost his life. Moses Simon of Nigeria, uh, Lawrence Atizigi, international football associations and federations have sent their messages of condolences. Uh, to Ghana football and of course Rafael Jamena's family. This is Rafael Jamena. Uh, in 2017, we all watched mm. uh, Ghana 5 Ethiopia 0. A very potent striker. Very potent striker. But uh, destiny in this world, you can never predict. Very potent striker. On his debut, two goals for the Black Stars. And a player who has been followed and scouted as an academy player from Red Bull went to Switzerland, followed and scouted extensively by uh, 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 Brighton and Hove Albion. A million dollar move to the Premier League. Then, heart problem. There is a latest update. Mm. Before we go on the rundown of um, Rafael Gamena, okay. there is a latest update. The latest update from Albania that we can confirm is that the prosecutor's office in Albania uh, they have stormed the offices of the club, FC Ignatia. They have seized documents. They have arrested uh, some officials, team medical officers. The club's leadership have been arrested uh, in connection with the death of Rafael Jamena. They want to know the medical condition of the player, how he was able to sign for the club and play despite having an implant. And, uh, uh, Rafael Jamena was playing with an ICD. Uh, in his heart, I see it in a medical condition. Those who know, an uh, implantable cardioverter defibrillator. Uh, it can be able to detect the irregular heartbeats. Mm -hmm. So he had a, a heart problem. Okay. Then instead of so quitting football, he decided to continue with the game. But then I was saying, yeah, I see it. Uh, it's like um, machine. I I okay. So when the heart is not beating well, then it can notify him say you have to stop what you are doing or the heart uh, beat is irregular okay so as a footballer you will not advise that something like that is is put in your heart and he so continue to play at the top level of course it be a, some community football once a while yeah. even that is not advisable so this morning uh if you go to albania the news is that the offices of fc ignatia mm -hmm. where rafael jamena played has been raided by the prosecutor's office. Okay. Uh, independent investigation, uh, a national investigation has been instituted into the death of the Ghanaian footballer. Then secondly, this is the images from the hospital. We can also say that uh, from the hospital where the Ghanaian footballer was transferred to, that is the Kavaja Hospital in Albania, uh, Rafael Gamena was transferred there after he collapsed on the field. The doctors there have confirmed that he came in the hospital in the black coat uh, he oh. came into the hospital when he was dead so the doctor said there was no activity whatsoever with regards to the hearts for them to even detect that there was a problem or not so the doctors have confirmed that uh, so if you can see uh, let's go to that image at the tail end when he went to the hospital you can clearly see that all the footballers were crying all the people around the bus were crying so if you go back to the video where Rafael Jamena was sent to the hospital in the ambulance. Yes, uh, later, at the latter part of it, you can clearly see that when he was taken into the hospital, they all saw that he was dead. Because at the hospital, this is where he was being moved from the huh. ambulance. And they could see the doctors came to the ambulance and then uh, a lot of the footballers, Omo Beba, they would put their hands on their head. When you see that at the hospital, you know say, this is uh, the situation. So, Rafael Jamena, yes, at this point, uh, if you watch the body language and the demeanor uh, of the people around, you can clearly see, say, they left him uh, at the hospital, no? 
obviously to be transported to the morgue yeah. because according to the doctors he arrived dead and another latest development mm -hmm. uh this morning is that rafael jamena uh he was in the city of uh, the ignatia club okay. now this morning the body has been transferred to Albanian capital tirana okay a a very major autopsy yes uh, it's become a very big issue in Albania so the body has been transferred from that hospital it's going to the capital for autopsy mm -hmm. prosecutors do not want to have an independent inquiry uh, in Ghana we a coroner's inquest among independent inquiry into the circumstances surrounding his death so this one too is another thing so this morning the body is being transferred from um, Ignatia club on the base to uh, Tirana, where he his uh, body will be, uh, the autopsy will be conducted, mm. and uh, th this is uh, simply because in the twenty third minute of the game against Partizan, uh, he collapsed over the Rogozina Stadium uh, in Kavaj. That is where the game was ongoing on Saturday, and the team doctors, ambulance personnel, and the doctors of the hospital Kavaja have also been questioned. Like I said, the doctors mm -hmm. at the Kavaja Hospital. Omar confirmed, he said the body, the, the, the player arrived dead. Hmm. When he got to the hospital, he was in the black mood. The there was no, yes, there was no condition of movement or the heartbeat or anything. He hmm. came there in the black uh, mood. And the description that they give, according to the doctor, you know, is that one, the patient came to the hospital, uh, Kavaja Hospital, in the black mood. That is, he had exitus, medical term for death. Mm. Uh -huh. He had exitus. Uh, that is, he had passed on when he arrived without vital parameters, without tension, without breathing, without ca uh, cardiac activity. There was no activity in the EKG. That is it. So the mm. player, according to Dr. Lala, who performed um, uh, uh, the diagnosis on the player. So that is a more initial remark to the prosecutor. Meanwhile, they have been questioned and asked to submit or more files you know, to the uh, body of uh, investigation. That's the, uh, uh, the body in uh, Albania, prosecutor's office. The club doctors and other senior staff have also been interrogated. So apart from the hospital of Kavaj staff, you know, the club doctors have also been interrogated. Okay. Their documents have been seized. The offices of FC Ignatia has been ransacked this morning. All their documents especially with related to the transfer mm. of a uh, year jamina medical all the documents yeah. medical records have been seized okay. uh, the report of a forensic expert will be expected to be added to the file before the next line of investigation will be uh, uh, continued or proceeded by the prosecutor so this is a very big issue there for a footballer who has an icd implant uh, in his heart to get the pass to play football when a lot of clubs had terminated the yeah. co contract of the player for his own um, safety. Yeah, yeah. If you remember, Manchester City former striker Sergio Aguero, doctors detected a similar um, um, activity or a similar heart problem. He went to Barcelona. They detected. And that was not even as serious as that because he had played his football majority of his football large yeah. part of his yeah. uh, career uh, professional years were gone but aguero said no i'll quit then who did the argentina national team achieve yeah. to the world cup following barcelona and other teams so aguero had a similar issue then the doctors advised him he quit yeah there was this zambian player enoch computer Mwepu. Yeah. enoch Mwepu was also playing for brighton yeah. and one thing we must understand Rafael Gamena was on his way to sign for Brighton. Agreement was done. But Brighton, because Omo, Omo medical team, no, an EPL, a, a very extensive and rigorous medical exercise before yeah. you can play in the EPL, no, you have to pass the highest of medical examination to play there because the game is very intense. Mm -hmm. So Brighton, even though Enokumwepu had played for them already, but then the next time they said his heart has started developing a problem. In Okumwepu, very young player, one of the young chaps, this is the guy, so in Zambia good. national team. Then they said he has to quit football. Of course, he quit. He went to Zambia, and one time he collapsed in his house. It tells you, he said, the medical 
uh, detection no, was was accurate yeah. because he collapsed in his house. He was put in uh, intensive care for some weeks in, in Zambia before he recovered. But now he's treating his heart problem and has quit football. So this is Enoch Computer in Wepu, a very talented so, young player who played for the Zambian national team. Now he has retired from football, I think at the age of 23 yeah, or so. Very young. So that is, that is it. Uh, there are other players <laughs> in this same conditioner. Uh, yeah, Patrick Eken. Patrick Eken. Uh, as for him, the same thing happened in, 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 in uh, Cameroonian. He went to Romania. The same thing happened to him. So there is this thing about um, the black players suffering this particular uh, uh, heart problems. Ah, a heart dream. Ah. And the advice, ah, now I was say, a brand here, ah, your friend, oh, Rafael mm -hmm. Jamena, uh, Otieno, or non so, Sabi, Sabi, will be on an encrabia or the baby, I say. Or be on a coin or be fast to There is no way to blame the player. Even yeah. when you want to blame him, to what extent? There is no way to blame him. Obiane in Krabia or the free we are say or buy. Dr. Prince Pambo in 2021, Rafael Gamena collapsed. I'm a doctor and advice him. He said, Onjai Bobo Kra, na umpe a jumafu for be a football mono, because running not there, a be hard drain. And um, you cannot say the player was, was, was obstinate. Na so and I say, Bibi, sir, no. The obstinacy will, will stem from the destiny. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? You say, men call, men call, men call now. Call. That is where his end will come. So, uh, at least, uh, you cannot fault. But this morning, the mm. conversation around has been that FIFA, the international football body, should institute a measure that once a player is found or a detection is found in his any part of the body especially the heart that there is a condition that he cannot play he should not be signed by any professional club yeah. especially when the degree is at that level where you have to put an icd implant in your heart too much because we remember fabrice muamba he never came to the park or the field again so it is upon the FIFA governing body to institute a measure that once it is detected that you have this heart problem, maybe there are there are layers, there are layers to it. You understand? Yeah. This is in uh, Mwepu, uh -huh, the Zambian, uh, the heart detection. You understand? He's yeah. going through his treatment. And the Yembra Studio, not yet to but I, I think that this is, should come from FIFA. Yeah. All international bodies. Maybe there are degrees or layers to the problems, heart problems or any problem that can result in death or incapacitation. The FIFA should institute a measure, say, if you have a heart problem at this level, maybe at the level where it's uh, dangerous, sometimes you can play for five or six years. Sometimes you can play for one year. Sometimes you can play for, Three I have to years. say, a, a car that has been used. Mm -hmm. Maybe it can go 10,000 miles before it breaks down. Maybe it can go 100,000. If it can go 100,000, then it says, okay, you can play for three years. After three years, we advise that you stop. Okay. Maybe you can play for two years. After two years, we advise that you stop. But when it has been detected that the heart has a problem, a disease that is too dangerous to result in death or collapse at any point in time, then the, uh, the, the medical officers must advise. That the club should not sign once you sign and anything on towards happen the club should bear the consequences of that yeah there should be that uh, uh, uh whether the player wants to play the club should still insist that they 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 are going to bear the the duty of care consequences so they should not allow the player to play and yes sir as for a player there some of them they have medical conditions they will hide it yeah when you detect it you should go through a regulation that says we cannot sign you based on this heart condition. Okay. I'm sure the medical officers, Dr. Pambo and Co, are able to detect and are able to put them in, 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 in layers. They are able to put them in degrees of danger. That is where I think we can stop this. Mm, Otherwise, yeah. players will have problems and still want to play. play. Then at Some the of end, them may be minors, crap. Yeah. Because managers, and so they need money. They, once the player plays, or the moment the player plays, or in the circumstance that the player plays, that is where the managers get their, mm -hmm. their share. And to know there, 
Ube uo, uo, we have to go and sign a contract and give him 10 percent whether you will die or not but we have to get the situation where if the player wants to play but the medical condition is so dangerous to the point that it can result in death or any untoward circumstance mm -hmm. any point in time they sh the player should not be signed exactly. because that is the only way I bet my radio. You know. So this is the latest. Date. Yeah. Just as Brighton did. Brighton you know. did. It sent a signal. It's a yeah. saying a player on it here. Yes. They are club Brighton did for Gamina. Yes. For but Gamina. then he went to a league with less tricks. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. He went to a league where okay. I mean the the the, the checkups, medical mm. medical examinations uh, uh, it's not as extensive and comprehensive. Uh, that is the problem. I believe that we have to all get together yeah. and uh, enforce this or mm. uh, persuade FIFA. Gamena should be the last. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you better die home now. You bar. You wish in a family, Rafael Gamena family, and it uh, will be a very uh, their condolences. Our deep, uh, deepest condolences to the family. I don't know, but I'm sure that uh, the body will be. Uh, transported to Ghana, definitely. I'm sure he's from on the Ashanti region yeah, side. I think he's from Kwo. Yes, that's yeah. what I read. Kwo, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, as an Akan, definitely they will they will fly the body here. And here we share the family, you know, so I'm very strong uh, as a breadwinner, mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely. Or no, they could tell we be and we we pray that he's in a very uh, good place. Ah, uh, nyame edinibesi kamakama.